In the 2016 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Jared Goff out of the University of California. Hey, what's going on, guys? Flight Mike here, back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And you can see today, I went out and picked up that Jared Goff for you guys. Let's take a look at his stats, man. He has an 82 speed, 84 awareness, 96 throw power, 96 throw accuracy short, 97 throw accuracy mid, 97 throw accuracy deep, 86 play action, 85 throw on the run. Comment down below, guys, if there's any other rookies that you want me to get gameplay for you guys with. Let's see how Jared off does in his debut for his los angeles rams stepping onto the field for the very first time is the california prospect jared goff now we all know that this draft wasn't supposed to be heavy in quarterback but i think that the rams made the right choice man specifically because jared goff is from california but you're all entitled to your own opinion as oh you messed up that's golden ticket bo oh bro he's sticking to that same defense and if you're gonna stick to the same defense i'm gonna stick to the same offense here we come on first and 10. Hopefully Jared Goff can get some nice protection. And I see Herman Moore in one-on-one. -on -one, and you know who's going to win that, son. He's been running the same crossfire cover three blitz this entire game. You can see him right there trying to set it up again. And this time he's not going to go to it. So I'm going to scramble with Goff. And Goff! Did he get the first? Jared Goff showcasing some remarkable athleticism that got him selected with the number one overall pick. And I want to know, you guys, did the Rams make the right pick? Who made the right ones? Who made the wrong ones? And who is winning the draft so far? Jared Goff has been showing a lot of poise in the pocket. This is definitely, definitely going well, especially for his very first drive. Going there. No, oh, I got baited. I jinxed it. That was a beautiful bait for my opponent. Soldiers, he gave me the bait and I took it. I made the wrong read and I had some massive tunnel vision there as he's going over to Michael James and Michael James can move. All these campus heroes are making me wonder what could have been if NCAA Ultimate Team was still a thing. Going to the flats outside of Coleman and he's going to get that first down. Tons of respect for this opponent, man. Going up against a pretty good one here as he's going back to the run game. Of Coleman, oh! Fumble! Let's go! We get redemption! Correct reads must be made by the young Jared Goff. And oh my goodness, one-on-one -on -one Herman Moore! What a catch! What a dot! Touchdown, baby! Woo! Plenty of ups and downs in Jared Goff's debut. But for the most part, I'm really pleased with where he is. As look at this. Don't throw it there. Oh, what a sack! I have to give my opponent his props just for being poised in the pocket because honestly, if that was me, I'd probably force a pass that's just not there. And that's a huge mistake I tend to make as, oh, Night Train, why didn't you make a play? The magnificent thing about this is the fact that he doesn't really have a scrambling QB. So here he goes to his, is that his tight end? That's the Lady Walker, I have the same card. What a gain. I think this is the epitome of disrespect to a run game. As you can see, I'm completely not even covering it. He's going to that one-on-one, -on -one, and that's Tyron Matthew, but he gets it. What a dump for my opponent. Touchdown. Here comes Jared Goff, and we need to run another very effective play. I think he knows where this is going to because this is the official formation for a toss. Bo Jackson wasn't really able to get it done there. Hopefully, he could get it done here. Going to that screen pass, and screens with Bo Jackson are really effective. Huge third and nine here as the game is tied. We got to make sure we make the proper read, and oh, nothing is there. Jared Goff, YOLO shot to the middle. Doesn't go. Great stop for my opponent. Dude, I gotta give props where it's due. He completely shut me down on that last play. Couldn't find any of my reads wide open. Let me know in the comment section if I missed a read. But I'm pretty sure I had nothing wide open on that play. But that's a lot of progress for you, boy. Because usually I force things in there. Let's see where he's going to on this first and ten. Hopefully it's not a screen play. It's an inside zone of LaMichael James. And this is the most effective play in the game. As we draw closer and closer, I believe that he's going to go more and more to the run. And look at this. I guess I'm wrong. And oh, what a sack by J.J. Watt. That's the team of the week version. Here he comes on second and 20. And I was kind of thinking he was going to go to some kind of screenplay and oh what a play just contain all you can do is contain so contain that's literally the game plan here 
And oh goodness, make the right read. Make the right stop. He's going to the left side. Play that. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Three people deflected that one. This has got to be definitely one of the more fun mutt games I've played in a long time. As oh my goodness, Deshaun Jackson, you're such a liability. Second and 12, we got to make the right read. We got to make the right play. And we can't force anything up. And look at this, Deshaun. That slot read is messing me up, bro. I was too trigger happy in the pocket there. If I waited for that play to develop a little bit more, that would have been six. The fact that I rushed and rushed and rushed is why I got screwed over there. So it's all good, man. I deserve it. As you can see, he's going to go full savage ball here. And we got to be careful. Make sure. Oh, man, that was just horrible. I'm really messing this up. My opponent has three takeaways on me, I believe, or two takeaways on me. I'm not really sure. Got to double check, but that's not a good stat at all. As he's going way, way outside. No way he's got that. Dude, we got to step it up. That's all I'm going to say. We got to absolutely step it up. And that's all we... Oh, my goodness. That is not stepping it up. That's the exact opposite of stepping it up. He's going into the Wildcat, so I'm going to assume he's going to take it in with the Michael James. Let's go. Oh! Oh, what a play! He's in the end zone. Touchdown for my opponent. I'm going to be honest, man. The opportunities have been there. My reads, however, are not up to par up until this one. Oh, my God. What an arm. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I'm just incredibly impressed with his arm strength. As Look at this. Forcing me into another poor read by me. Wow. That pressure is coming, and I am trigger happy as hell when it does. And here we go. Another trigger happy play. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. He's playing me like a fiddle. My rustiness is definitely showing here. Too much partying at PAX East, not enough playing Mutt. He's been playing a fairly consistent offensive game, and he's been beating me with it, don't get me wrong, but it's been fairly consistent. I need a redemption play, let's go! Come on! Oh, let's run it the other way! Oh my God, that's what I needed! The best way to describe my game today is probably turnover prone. Here we go, going to the halfback angle with Bo, and oh my God, no one. That golden ticket to Sean Jackson isn't a good enough blocker for me to start running. And hopefully, if we run out of this formation, that's gonna change. Third and four, gotta get this play, man. Very big play for us, and we're going to Herman Moore. Come on, man! Despite me struggling, I think this might be the move. We have to be great. We gotta go for it. And there we go, Deshaun Jackson. We're in field goal range. All right, man, at least we scored again, and we're only gonna be down by four. If Dan Money Bailey comes through, and does he? It's good. The struggle has definitely been real for us so far, but we got to turn it around here. As you can see, Sam Bradford has nowhere to throw. Second and 10. Let's see what plays he's got for us here. Oh, don't throw it down here. He's going to go to the Michael James. Yo, Tyron Matthew, that looked like it hurt. Oh, man. Yeah. Third and four. Let's see if we can trick him here. He's going to go to a toss play. We got to stop him, and we're not going to stop him. This is going to go for a big one. First and ten. I feel like he's going to go to the same play on the different side, but no, he has not realized that the run game has been working. The run game has been working perfectly for him. He has three rushes with Michael James for 43 yards. I don't know why he's not keeping it up. Going to this wheel route in Revis Island. Right when we needed it the most. Cue the music, we take the lead! What a pick six by Ultimate Freeze! Right when your boy starts to struggle, my defense steps it up. And I am eternally thankful for that as Night Train is able to get the stop on the Michael James. Bro, four rushes for 52 yards, and I'm wondering why he's not running the ball even more. But it's all good. Look at this. He's going back to it. I think he's starting to realize. First and ten, is he going to go to the same inside zone play again? I don't know, man. I can see him taking a break. Look at him. Let's see what he's doing. He's making a read. It looks like he is. And what a read by my opponent. Look at him running his scheme, making the right reads. Major props to my opponent here. And oh, that was the exact play that screwed him over last time. Bro, if you go for a screen, I'm taking this to the house. Oh, luckily for him, he's not going for a screen. And the 4-4 isn't able to stop this run game. Here he comes on second and one, coming out in the pistol. And I know what he's going to here. He has to go to another one of those run plays. And looks like I'm wrong. He's going to the flat. And we at least stop him. As he inches closer and closer, the defense is going to be harder and harder to stop. And yo, if you throw it down here, I'm taking it. If you all oh, fumble! 
Give me that, Randall. Let's go. My defense is a goon, bro. My reads have been trash. My defense has been nothing short of phenomenal. One-on-one -on -one with Herman Moore, and that has not been working. Honestly, man, it's part of the reason I really dislike this stage of mud. I feel like I can't really rely on my reads anymore. Rather, I am just going for those cheesy one-on-one -on -one aggressive catch play. First and 10, and we gotta be great. We gotta play to our strengths, and we've been struggling mightily with the pass. We're going back to Bo Jackson on the screen, and that's gonna get us two. Game on, bro. Game freaking on. We're going to start milking the clock here. Going to Bo Jackson. He's able to break one tackle, but the other defender grabs him. I need at least a field goal. Otherwise, I failed you all. And I am not going to lie about that. Jared Goff could scramble. I'm just going to throw this away. I don't want to lose my field goal. In order for my kicker to make this, I need to get all of it. Oh, my God. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. Did we make it? No. The story of this game defenses have been making plays offenses not so much as Ray Lou I'm honestly starting to believe that it may be time to change up the scheme comment down below man what do you guys think I've thrown way too many interceptions this game I made way too many awful reads a lot of my interceptions are my go-to reads typically so I think it may be time to make a change let me know in the comment section what you guys think is well Michael James this card is a goon, bro. At this point, it's important to realize, man, he's well within field goal range, so we gotta be careful. Gotta make the right read, make the right stop, no! Oh, that was a horrible, horrible choke by my defense. First and 10, gotta make the right read here, man. This is Jared Goff's moment to shine. Will he be able to do it or not? And oh my goodness, he started out with a sack. We were under center, we were anticipating the blitz, and we were trying to make sure that we handled it correctly. I'm going way, way deep and open for a prayer. And I couldn't right there, dude. Third and 17. If we don't come up with a play here, we are done. And we're going all oh, to Deshaun Jackson. What a catch. Fourth and three. We got to be clutch. We got to be confident. We got to be poised. And I see a Delaney Walker wide open. Let's go. We got that first. We can't afford these itty bitty gains, bro. That's all I'm going to say. I see a one-on-one -on -one with Herman Moore. If he doesn't come up with that, dude. Bro, my receivers had so much one-on-one -on -one coverage. No one is making a play at all. Going to the shallow cross again. We got to use the timeout. How do we score a touchdown when my wide receivers aren't capitalizing on their one-on-one -on -one opportunities? Well, that's a question for me to answer right here. Bo Jackson coming up with a big snag. Let's go. Run the hurry up. Run the hurry up. Run the hurry up. Goff, let's go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Golden ticket, Deshaun. You're trash, bro. You're freaking trash, bro. Deshaun Jackson in the slot position, expecting him to outrun a good amount of my opponent's players. Golden ticket to Sean Jackson hasn't done that for me because every time I've thrown it to him, he's been covered. That's pretty frustrating, man. Everyone is so much faster than I am used to. I'm not going to make excuses, bro. That was a terrible showing by myself. I could have done a lot, lot better. I have to review that game tape. I have to figure out different schemes for myself. I really couldn't rely on any of my plays and any of my players to make anything good happen for me. And that's okay. That's fine, man. I'm going to take this L with pride. I'm going to take it in stride. We're going to punch Jared Goff back in the quarterback position the next game. And we're going to see what he could do with this new scheme, man. Smash that like button if you guys are ready. Shout out to my opponent for the great game, man. He got me really heated that I couldn't make any of my reads. And besides that, man... I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Peace. Woo! Ayers did high and deep out to straightaway left. Ayers going back on it, still ranging.